the morning office for Saturday, June 23rd. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. In your righteousness, deliver and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The morning reading is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 24 through 29. Thomas called the twin, who was one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he answered, Unless I can see the holes that the nails have made in his hands, and I can put my finger into the holes that they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he spoke to Thomas. Put your finger here. Here are my hands. Give me your hand. Put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving any more, but believe. And Thomas replied, My Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, You believe because you can see me. Blessed are those who have not seen me and yet believe. Thanks be to God. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The morning psalm is taken from Psalms, chapter 103, verses 10 through 14. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his mercy great upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As a father cares for his children, so does the Lord care for those who fear him. For he himself knows whereof we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Glory be to God the Father, to God the Son, and to God the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and evermore shall be. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, make me have perpetual love and reverence for your holy name. For you never fail to help and govern those whom you have set upon the sure foundation of your loving kindness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen.